Manitoba Liquor Marts presents The Great Tastes of Manitoba. Hi everyone, welcome back to Great Tastes of Manitoba. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jim Ingerbritz and joining us today, other than you of course, is Susan Reese from Manitoba Pork with three terrific dishes she's going to fill you in on, or, and hopefully fill me up on a little bit later. And as always, almost always, Al Boness, Manager of Specialty Purchases for Manitoba Liquor Marts, and uh, he'll be taking care of the pairings for those particular pieces of pork uh, a little later on. Now, Susan, go through, tell us what you're going to uh, do today. Okay. Well, today's show is all about great tasting food that's good for you. So we're going to start all of our recipes off with a fresh, lean, uh, wholesome Canadian pork tenderloin. We're going to pair that up with some, a variety of different superfoods to create three fabulous dishes that are just bursting in flavor and goodness. So we're going to start with a satisfying buffalo style pork tenderloin salad. Mm. And then we're going to move on to some pork medallions with an exquisite wild blueberry pan sauce. And lastly, we'll do some pork lettuce boats with a watermelon salsa, which is really light, crisp, refreshing, perfect as an appetizer or an entree. Oh, yeah, it sounds great. Big challenge. Lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of fruit in there and the berries. Mm -hmm. Very of... nice, yeah. And, and so uh, the two of these dishes are sort of salads, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, but the, the medallions with um, the wild blueberry sauce, is that going to be a sweet sauce or is mm -hmm. it? Uh... It's a little bit of sweet, a little bit of hint of lemon. Oh, very nice. Oh, can't wait. Can't there you wait. go. I'm off to go look at the, the, the Manitoba liquor market. <laughs> okay, right. let's... So we're going to start with our buffalo style pork tenderloin salad. So as I mentioned, pork tenderloin is very wholesome. It's a powerhouse of nutrition, really. Lots of B vitamins, lean protein. Easy to excellent, cook. Excellent. Easy to Cooks cook. Cooks fast. Ac exactly. And it's going to cook even faster because we're going to butterfly it, which will cut your cooking time just about in half. So we'll just show you how to do that. The, the key to this is a, is a sharp knife. You want to have a sharp knife that'll go through the meat just like a hot knife through butter, essentially. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just press down a little bit firmly, and we're going to essentially just slice this horizontally almost all the way through, but not quite, so that we can open it up like a book just like that. Now, we're going to use one of these pans mm -hmm. <clears throat> for a, a number of obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, but you could you do this same recipe on a barbecue? Absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> now, I think I asked you this once before. Uh, can you put this right on the grill, or would you put it on a foil? No, nope, right on the grill. Just that's it, eh? Yeah, okay. right on the grill. So this is what we would do. We're going to marinate it now. So if you could take the Ziploc bag, which is always a handy marinating tool. We're going to put our pork tenderloin in there. And then we've made the uh, buffalo marinade. And it's basically a combination of some heart-healthy canola oil, um, some rooster sauce, which is an Asian, uh, an Asian chili sauce, a little bit of soy and sauce, a little bit of lemon juice, some garlic, and a bit of salt and pepper. And then, as always, and mustard's in there as well, we want to marinate in the refrigerator. And this one, because the flavors are so intense, you could probably get away with about two hours minimum, um, up to 24 hours in advance. And you could play with this yeah, uh, just massage a the little marinade. Taste-wise, I'm just going to reach over and grab this. I call it rooster sauce <clears throat> because of the rooster. Oh, there you go. But I, I have this at home <laughs> as well. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's it's got a kick. Yeah. So that goes in the fridge. We always want to marinate our dishes in the fridge. Okay. And uh, here we have a tenderloin that we've already marinated. And we're going to put that in the grill pan. What we want to do is pat it dry. We want to try to take excess moisture off the tenderloin simply because a dry tenderloin is going to brown a lot better than one that is moist, so you get those nice grill marks. Toss that in our hot grill pan. You can hear it sizzle there. And basically we're going to cook it about five minutes a side. It's not going to take long That's at it. all. Yeah, very, very quick. Now we're not going to have time today to, to finish cooking that. No, no, I have time. <laughs> so what we've done is I've brought a tenderloin that's already cooked. And we are going to slice this, or I'm going to slice it. And what I'd like you to do is maybe plate the salad. Oh, all right. And for the salad, we're using a nice spring mix. If you've washed your hands, you can just use your fingers. Always. Do that. Yeah. And a uh, nice spring mix. What I love about this salad is the variety. You've got different, uh, different types of lettuce, different types of greens in there. So you're going to get a whole pile of nutrition out of that, different antioxidants and vitamins and minerals. 
and you can add to it whatever other salad ingredients you like, some onion, tomatoes, cucumber, celery. I'm going to slice the tenderloin here just on a bit of a diagonal. We're going to add that to the salad and you've got a satisfying meal that's perfect for lunch or even as a dinner entree. And of course the protein is really going to help fill you up. Oh, so you tell me when you're ready for the for the pork. I'm uh, just going to check my uh, Is the pork's going to go on the side? Yeah, no, I'm going to bring it over. <clears throat> okay. So basically, we just layer that on top. You can see the nice hint of pink in the pork as well. That's something and else I'm going to ask you about later as well. Okay, and you've got a perfect, satisfying meal. It's ready in a jiffy. As I said, the tenderloin only needs to cook about five minutes. We're actually going to check it now. Very Thanks. healthy, very colorful, and really a superfood in that. and of itself, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, exactly. Very healthy, very nutritious. Terrific, terrific, terrific. Great. Yep. Top that with a little uh, ranch dressing, and you're good to go. If you want it. If you want it. Like I, I would just stick with the. Uh, even the blue cheese is blue optional cheese. if you're not a fan of blue cheese. Oh, I'm a huge, huge fan. Now again, you can even play with it to get the marks. Exactly. You know, as just perfect as you did with the first one. Turn it at a 90 one. degree angle and Great. You get the nice grill marks. We're going to take a short break, but we want you to stick around. We have two more terrific pork dishes coming up with Susan Reese right after this. <laughs> 